Good morning. Um, I'm aware that some of you haven't watched the video yesterday and were a bit unsure um, about the circuits, especially the, when we use the, the, the logic symbols for these circuits. So I'm just going to, I've just sent you this video just to um, help you clarify that. We're going to go over it again in the lesson, but if you can watch this and hopefully um, you'll be able to bring something to the lesson already. Now let's take a Boolean expression. Um, I'm going to completely round in here. P or not P and Q. Okay, so this is a Boolean expression. Um, now we have to remember that P can either be 0 or 1. And again, not P can either be 0 or 1, Q can either be 0 and 1. And the way these work in circuits is that each of these prepositions represents the switch. Okay, so switch like that. Now, the switch here is, is open, which means the P has a value of zero. Okay, this is the switch for P. If it's closed, then P is one. Okay, you've got to imagine that the electricity is allowed to run through if P is one, but it's not allowed to run through if P is zero. Okay, so. If we were doing, drawing this as a switching circuit, um, the letters are represented, instead of writing switches, we'll write this as a P here. Okay. Okay. And the thing to remember is that here we have AND symbols, and these represent parallel circuits. And signals represent um, series. Okay, series circuits. So we start off with we've got a parallel. So if we do, basically you want to do the. Um, well, how should we do this? Let's do let's do the brackets first. Okay, let's do the brackets first, which is good. That makes sense. Do the brackets first. We've got not P and Q. Now that's in series, so we have to have um, to start off with. And not P and Q. Now that's saying that this is true, this expression here, this entire expression is true if not P is true and Q is true. Okay? I.e. if not P has been switched on and Q is switched on. That's the only way the electricity is going to run through that line there. Okay? Now we've got to con um, combine this with and P. Okay? Now, I mean, sorry, or, that's my mistake there, or, or P. Now, or P represents a series in parallel, okay? So we've got P there, and there's a circuit, and there's our switching circuit for that, <coughs> okay? Not P and Q, or P. So basically, the electricity, if we've got a light bulb um, here, okay, we don't draw the light bulb, but if we've got a light bulb there, this light bulb will be switched on if P is switched on, or not P and Q are switched on. Okay, that is how the switching circuit works. We're looking at we've got ands for series and ors for parallel. Okay, so there's the switching circuit which represents that particular, this particular Boolean expression. Um, so let's deal with that possibility an expression again. So P and not P and Q. Sorry, P or not P and Q. Now another alternative way to represent this in a certain diagram is using combinatorial logic symbols. The logic we call these logic tapes. Okay, and you have some basic logic tapes. Okay, you have the triangle represents if P goes into that, then the output is not P. Okay? We have the AND signal, okay, which is if two things go into that, if P and Q go into that, then the output is P and Q. Okay? And finally we have the OR symbol, which is like that, where if we have two things going into it, P and Q, the output is P or Q. Okay, so there are basic um, 
there are basic logic gates. So what we've got here, okay, now this is slightly different because our outputs are P, our inputs are P and Q. So this, this is like saying, the switching circuit is like saying we have electricity running through, where does it switch the bulb? Does it, how can we design the circuit so it switches the bulb on according to the Julian state? The logic gate, the logic combinatorial circuit, is based on, here we have inputs, and based on this Julian expression, what are our outputs? Okay, and we have to do these using logic gates. Now, this time I'm going to start off with um, the brackets again. Okay, so first of all, I've got not P and Q. So P at the minute is running through there, but we can branch this off. We drew a little bump over that line, so it's branched off. And we need it to first go through, because it's not P, we need to make it go through a not gate. Okay, so there's a not gate. So P, whatever P is, when it goes through here, it goes to not P. Okay? Now, the not P is combined together with Q with a conjunction, an AND symbol. So we have to use the AND gate. Two inputs coming in, we've got, the, we've got the Q and we've got the not P now, and they get combined. That is the fourth, fourth thing, so sorry about that. They get combined to make an AND. Okay? So our output from this point is going to be not P and Q. Okay? Now, we've never written that arrow, we don't have arrows. Finally, we've got to do the um, disjunction, the OR symbol. Now it's P OR, the output of whatever's coming out of this AND. So these two get combined into a OR symbol. And the output here is going to be P and not P and Q. Okay, that's our output. Our inputs are P and Q, our outputs is P and not P or Q. Okay? So that's the difference between a combination circuit. A combination circuit deals with do we have inputs? We have inputs, what are our outputs? Okay. A switching circuit deals with, okay, we've got a kind of electricity going through. Can we design our circuit so it switches the bulb on if our Boolean expression is true there? Okay. So let's what I'm going to do is I'm going to design um, a random, completely random combination circuit, and we'll see how that compares. And I've got some coffee. I'm going to get coffee first. Okay. Okay, so here is the circuit, and we're going to have P and Q as our inputs. Okay. And we're going to have P coming out like that. P and Q, there are inputs. Um, we're going to make them go into an AND. So there's an AND gate. They don't usually have the um, word for it in inputs, but write the words in, and that's not a problem. Um, so P and Q, <coughs> there's our AND. Um, what else are we going to have? We're going to have a Q going down like this. We're going to have a P crossing over. And that's going to be. We can have that as an OR gate. Finally, the output up here, we can actually make that go through an, a NAND gate. Make them conjunct them together with an AND gate. Okay? And I'm going to get two in there. So let's see what our two outputs are going to be here. Um, right, let's have a look. Let's start off with this kind of top half of it. Now, I'm going to do this in red so you can see what I'm doing. 
Okay. Now P and Q both go in this AND gate. So directly out of here, we get P and Q. Okay. And in fact, if we keep on going on, our output there is going to be P and Q. Okay. Now we need to find our output here. Okay, this is the tricky bit. Now it starts off with P going through there into an OR and Q going into an OR. So here, directly out, the input out here is going to be P or Q. Okay? Now, going into this AND gate, we have P or Q, but we also have this here. Now this is not, now if the input here is P and Q, but this is not that, so it will be not P and Q. Okay. Now this is interesting. Not P and Q, by our laws of Boolean algebra, this is De Morgan's rule, we can kind of multiply out that bracket using the OR symbol to get not P or not Q. Okay, we get not P or not Q. So, depend, I, I can, depend, we can see which form is easy, best for us. But that the input is basically not P and Q. Now, they both go into an AND gate, so our output, our final output, is basically, well, the input for this bit is P or Q. It's an AND gate, so we're going to connect it with AND, and it's, well, we'll just do it with something like that. That one a little bit. And just there. You can get it. And I'll connect it with not P or Q. Okay, so there are two outputs. Our output for this bit is P and Q. Our output for this bit is P or Q and not P and Q. Okay? Now, let's just see how this works if, if let's say, P is 1 and Q is 0. Okay, let's just see if, if our outputs work out. Um, so if P is 1 and Q is 0, if we can get put these into here, a 1 and a 0, now that's an AND. Now, if P is 1 and Q is 0, that AND is false. So coming out, we have it as false. So our output, as it goes through here, is going to be false. P and Q is false because P is 1 and Q is 0. Okay? Now let's have it coming through here. So we have a 0 coming through there to Q and we have a 1 coming through there. Now this time it's an OR gate, so 1 or 0 is basically true, okay? Because we only need one of them to be true. So our input for that part of the AND gate is going to be 1. Now, if we go through here, our input for this NOT gate is 0. Now, a NOT converts a 0 to a 1, so our output is going to be 1. And so finally, we have a 1 also going into that input there. Now, a 1 and a 1 going into an AND group is also a 1, so our Boolean expression with our input of 1 it's going to be 1 there. Okay? So, these are, this is a combination circuit. It's difficult to draw this as a um, switching circuit because we've got two separate Boolean expressions involved here, which is the advantages of using a combination circuit. You could um, use two, two different expressions to, to do that, which is which is quite nice. Okay, so that's combination circuits. Um, we can do a lot of really good things with these. We can do a lot of good things with these, and um, we can use them to represent, um, you know, gate and um, electricity um, logical statements. But before, um, what I want us to have a little think about is this little question. There's an old saying in the army. Okay. If it moves, you salute it. Okay. It's a general expression. If it moves, you salute it. If it doesn't, you paint it. Okay. So the question is.
coming time soon. Okay, so you can think about that and please get back to me if you've got an answer in the next lesson. The clue is these propositions. Let's back to the clues.